Hello. Um, I'm gonna today do. I need to create a new drawing process, so I figured I'd record it. So I so I get this on the screen. Uh, so I figured I'd record it. So uh, this is my assembly, and I want to put this on a sheet. Now at the moment, I only have a process to put these on ANSI D sheets, which is. Uh, which is not big enough for this assembly, in my opinion, anyway. So, to create a new drawing process, we'll just go in, click on the drawing process manager. So we want to come in, go to user, drawing processes, assembly selected. Uh, this is what I usually use, I don't do assembly all, I do assembly selected. Uh, you can see these two that are ticked are the two that I generally use. They're the two that come up over here in this panel. So I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to create a new one from this one. So first of all, we want to copy this one. Don't deep copy. Don't ever deep copy because it copies everything. And you're going to have a copy of everything in there. Uh, you want to copy and it'll just use stuff from the other one. Uh, so, just rename this to ANSI D and start with that one, okay? And so, ANSI D. So, the main step is going to be I have created this already, I believe. Uh, no, you know what? I think I cancel out it. Alright, so we'll select this one, we'll create a new one. So a new process step, and just rename this ANSI D. Uh, okay. And now, selected part is the main part. Okay, position ascending, we can leave that the same. File selector. So we want the file selector to be ANSI D per assembly. The one for the C was ANSI C per assembly. So ANSI D per assembly. The scale, alternate scale, we can just leave that the same for now. The detail style map should be the same. The detail style map is basically what controls where the drawings go. So columns go to the column one. I haven't updated all mine here. I just have my own beam one. Um, so basically you don't want to leave, if you're happy with your ncc uh with the one you're coming from then the d1 will be fine just trying to change the size of the sheet so <clears throat> you go in here this is the sheet it's going to use so it's going to use it's going to use the default sheet because uh, my one would look like this that's what my one would look like but for now we'll leave it as the default sheet that it comes with and uh, what i'll do is i'll do another little video on and where you copy your sheets to or where you keep your prototypes for now uh, this should be good so apply now click on the top step um, it's shown that this will be added to this uh, it may not it won't be on unless i close it now it may still not be i may need to restart all right well we don't want to restart for now it's gonna drag the video out a little bit so what we'll do is we'll just select the assembly go back into the drawing process select the process that i want to ncd and use it and i want that to name it itself so it's going to name it with the drawing number as you can see so it's already detailed so i already have this detailed so what i'll do is let me go back in here go to management tools defaults uh drawing oh sorry uh drawing general and allow duplicate drawings and it'll just save me going in deleting them i can delete the one i don't want later so let's select it i'll update sorry hit that a couple of times select all the elements go back into output drawing process uh, 
user drawing process, assembly selected, and CD, use, OK. All right, so it's detailing that piece. Now, uh, my UCS is not correct, so this is going to come out all kinds of jacked up. So just bear with me. It's just to show you the... It's going to be the second one. And no, actually, it came out right for once. Sometimes it comes up screwed up. So this is... We can see... If we look at the plot, if we go to plot this... <clears throat> we can see that it's on an on CD sheet. So it's on the right side sheet. It's just not on my sheet, which I would like it to be on my sheet. So we'll do that in the next video. So I hope this helps. That's just created another process just to put these on larger sheets. Uh, we can change the scale as well if we wanted to. I right, hope that helps. Bye-bye. Take care.